over here! He is risen! He is risen indeed. I got a lot more, a lot more room out here to move around. So hopefully Sprint is holding their uh, end of the deal up and uh, I'm getting connected to you and you can hear me. We got some uh, trucks moving up and down uh, everywhere and so that'll be fine. You'll still be able to hear me. Everything will work. This is gonna be great. In fact, I'm gonna move back a little bit because that's better. I would like for people to see the big crazy looking idiot in front of his church sh shouting out, he is risen. My skew to the let to fix that too a little bit. Beep, 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 beep. All right, sound effects and everything. Uh, he is risen, he is risen indeed. Uh, uh, so, an interesting ha thing happened to me this morning. Well, actually every morning, every day has been interesting, right? Because we wake up and we don't know what to expect and, and the news is crazy and, and, and just, it's nuts, right? Um, but this morning, because I got up to do uh, the uh, live stream from the, uh, <laughs> for, for uh, the sunrise, and that didn't go quite as planned, but it's all right. I may have definitely locked my keys inside the church. Uh, this may surprise some of you. Uh, many of you it probably won't surprise. This is not the only time this has happened. There's a few people watching this right now going, uh-huh, uh-huh. Some of you are going, Pfft. Pastor Mike, he's not, he's not that stupid. And then the rest of you are going, yes, yes he is. But that's, that's what happened. And so I had to call poor Joanne and ask for her help. And she came to my rescue and unlocked the church so I could get in. And it all worked out just fine. But man, it, it you know, if this was a normal Easter Sunday, right? It wouldn't have been an issue because the doors would have been unlocked. We've been going back and forth. Things are crazy. You know, and, and maybe then I wouldn't realize, but today I realized how much we need each other. How much being church is really just about the act of being together. And now we have to be together in ways that we're not accustomed to. Ways like this. So again, I give thanks to God that we can be together like this, but I also pray for the day when we can just be in the same space again. I want to plug a few things before I go any further. Uh, Andrew, uh, by the time this is done, possibly already, I will have posted um, some Easter activities on the Youth and Children's Facebook page. If you're a member of that, please go and see what he's doing. Oliver's been having fun with the stuff that he's doing. He, uh, his his uh, a, a toilet paper tube Easter diorama was up. It was a Lazarus one, but Jesus, but uh, Oliver mixed it around a little bit, and now it's Mary and Martha and Jesus at the tomb. So it's a, it's a multi-purpose toilet paper tube diorama. And, and so, so yeah. Go see him. And then uh, also, um, next Sunday, in case you didn't get a chance to watch the video, if you haven't watched our pre-recorded session, please watch it. Um, some, uh, some people put some hard work into putting that stuff together, and I really believe uh, you'll be blessed for it and encouraged to send in some stuff to me yourself. And you're going to have a... Was that a bird? You're going to have a, a chance next week because next week is Holy Humor Sunday. And as I said before in the pre-recorded session, and I'll say it again, I'm going to need some stupid videos. I mean like stupid. You can send me GIFs, GIFs, however you pronounce it. Not the peanut butter, the G-I-F. The, the moving thing. If you find something silly, funny, stupid, send that to me. If you got a good joke, record yourself telling it. Send it to me. All right? Um, or if you just want to make a stupid video... Um, I know some kids who'd be really good at making some stupid videos. Make some stupid videos. Send it to me. Don't, don't be worried about whether it's too stupid or not. Don't be worried about whether it's appropriate for church or not. I will use my discretion so you don't have to, which should scare some of you. Anyways, go ahead and send those things in. So, uh, 
This morning I was a little bit afraid, I gotta admit, uh, because uh, things just weren't working out right the way I wanted to, which, you know, is typical. But, I, you know, I had to call for help, and, and before I knew Joanne was going to unlock the church for me, I was afraid. I was afraid I wasn't going to have my robe, and things weren't going to look quite right. I was, I was afraid that I wasn't going to be able to get things up and running. I was afraid, now I'm afraid, that Sprint won't hold up their end of the bargain that I pay so much money for and keep the data streaming so you can watch this. I'm afraid no one's really paying attention. You know, I got the views and I can see who's there, but you know, you might be doing something else right now, cooking eggs at breakfast or, or you know, watching something on TV and just have me rolling on in the background. Or maybe I'm afraid that maybe you shouldn't be paying attention. Or I'm afraid that I have nothing to say that, we're, that is worth listening to. If you were listening, that was a lot of afraids. I just shared with you. And afraid is something we are familiar with today, right? And and maybe more than just, you know, my silly little fears that I have in the moment that really probably don't amount to much, right? I mean, we all have those, but we have some real fears. You know, right now I'm afraid for Oliver, for my son. I'm afraid that he's missing out on school and time with his friends. Uh, I'm, I'm afraid because I know that I'm not the teacher, <laughs> the best teacher that he could have right now, right? I'm afraid for the stress it puts on Cherish. Cherish and I are both afraid that we're not going to be able to see or hug our parents until November. Hi, Mom and Dad. How about the Cherry? I'm afraid for the church. I'm afraid, you know, what does it mean for us to be church now, right? What does it mean for us to be in mission when we have to be apart? What does it mean to be the hands and the feet of Jesus when we have to stand six feet apart? I'm afraid how the church is going to be supported, if I'm honest. Now, that does include my paycheck, if I'm honest. Lots of people are dealing with that fear right now, aren't we? Big fears. There's even fears bigger than that. Yesterday, the death toll from the coronavirus topped 20,000 in the United States. Giving our country the highest death toll of any other nation, evidently. No, that's enough to make anybody afraid, but maybe you're like me, and you're immune compromised. I got diabetes, right? And you're afraid. Going to the post office seems like walking through the valley of the shadow of death sometimes. So maybe when we read the scripture today, something stands out that may not have stood out before. In the book of Matthew, in the 28th chapter, Mary, and it says, the other Mary, not Jesus' mother Mary, Mary Magdalene, and then the other Mary, which is not Jesus' mother, it's the other Mary. There was a lot of Marys. It's two Marys. They go to the tomb. They see the angel. The angel tells them, he is not here. He is risen. And he tells them, verse 7 and verse 8, then go quickly and tell his disciples, he has been raised from the dead. And indeed, he is going ahead of you to Galilee, and there you will see him. This is my message for you. So, Mary and the other Mary left the tomb quickly with fear and great joy and ran to tell the disciples. See, I don't know uh, what your experience has been. But often when we have Easter celebrations, when we're inside that building, right? Or you're inside your church building, if, if you're not a, if you don't normally attend at Mount Zion, it's usually a pretty big celebration. We have decorations, usually there's some type of food happening, right? Easter egg hunt, all those great things, right? 
and I do the whole shouting thing. I love doing the crazy, you know, it's, it's the heavy metal part of me. I want to go, he is risen, right? And I just think it's just awesome, and we all think it's awesome, and it's great, and we love it. But here is a scripture that talks to us about fear, and how often do we talk about that? The fear that these two women experience stands out to us today for good reason. It's because of the fear we experience now. Because being afraid right now is very palpable for us. We feel it. We know it. Never would I have ever ever imagined an Easter Sunday like this one. I mean, yeah, preaching outside, maybe we'll do that next year, but not alone. Not apart. Not afraid. The rector at Christ Episcopal Church in Washington, D.C., who was the first confirmed coronavirus case in D.C., was quoted as saying, today, today, feels more like Good Friday than Easter Sunday. The not knowing, the loneliness and the stir craziness, the fear, those feel like Good Friday sort of things, and they don't feel good at all. Those are things that belong in the grave, in the tomb. Get out of here, we want to say, right? We need our Easter feelings. We need our, our joy, our rejoicing, our celebration, our He is risen. Keep those things in the tomb. That's where the fear belongs, right? Yet, it was not in the tomb where the fear was felt. That first Easter Sunday, it was outside of the tomb. Those two women experienced fear. My friends, I think we are in the very same place. We stand outside of the tomb, existing on this end of the resurrection. It's happened. It's done. The stone has been rolled away. Nobody's in there. He is risen, right? Yet we have the fear now. Yet he is risen. And we live, and we breathe, and we move, and even experience the fear and the stress of what is happening right now, when right now Jesus is alive and alive in us, with us, in all his resurrection power. Jesus who lives, Jesus who took the cross and conquered sin, Jesus who stepped out of the tomb and defeated death itself, that same Jesus, the Jesus who spoke to these women and now speaks to us and says to us, do not be afraid that Jesus is with us. No matter whether this feels like Easter or not, I want to tell you that every single day is Easter for us. Because the living, loving, risen Jesus walks with us daily. His resurrection power isn't just here or there with you on Easter Sunday or any other Sunday, but every day, every moment, and even, and especially even when things are at their lowest, at their darkest, most worrisome and fearful. Especially when. Jesus tells us, 
Do not be afraid. It's not an empty promise. It's not an empty promise that everything will always work themselves out because, because they don't. It's not an empty promise that nothing will ever go wrong because it does. It is a real and true promise, however, that no matter what happens, no matter what each new day brings, that new day's creator and sustainer is the one that will strengthen and uphold you. And whatever we may face, what Ever we may face, we never face it alone. We never have. Jesus lives. Jesus moves. He does this in you. His resurrection life is here and is now. So may our fears come. May our hands tremble in worry. May our minds swim in doubt. It won't change the truth. Jesus lives. He is risen. Here and now. So do not let your hearts be discouraged. Do not be afraid. May you know. Hi guys. <laughs> May you know. living power of Jesus is with you in your fear. That the resurrected Christ does not abandon you in your doubt and loneliness and anxiety. No. He is alive. He is alive risen and alive with you and with me now and forever. Amen. Amen. Thank you for spending your Easter morning with me. I pray that if you haven't had an Easter egg hunt yet, that you go and have one. I pray that you still get lots of candy and Easter bunnies and all that fun stuff. I pray that you do crafts. I pray that you get a chance to watch some stupid Hallmark Easter movie, unless, you know, Oliver and I uh, are watching Endgame and Cherish Camp. <laughs> I pray that this day blesses you, that this day encourages you. You will have a break and a rest from the worry and the fear. That you will rest in the presence of Jesus who loves you. That you will breathe easy. So go for it. And may God, the Father who made us, the Son who has saved us and the Spirit who fills us be with you and give you peace. Amen.